Tired of lying awake, tossing and turning, just hoping for a few hours of sleep? Get the sleep you crave with the one-of-a-kind Tempur-Pedic. Only Tempur-Pedic uses proprietary temper material that continuously adapts and responds to your body to relieve pressure. So you get deep, uninterrupted sleep. All night, every night. Now's a perfect time to renew your sleep with the one-of-a-kind comfort of Tempur-Pedic and save up to $500 on adjustable mattress sets. Learn more at TempurPedic.com. Rogue Nicotine On Demand. Delivered direct to your door. Available in all your favorite flavors and formats. Pouches, gum, wintergreen, peppermint, and more. From fishing to Sunday football to dinner at the in-laws, Rogue Nicotine is there for you when you need it. Visit roguenicotine.com today and save 10% when you place your order for sugar-free, fast-acting Rogue Nicotine. Underage cells prohibited. This product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. For more information, visit roguenicotine.com. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Jeffrey Epstein Show. I'm your host, Bobby Capucci, and this is Daily Drop number 306. Denise George is expanding her investigation once again in the Virgin Islands. The Mirror is reporting tonight that Denise George has subpoenaed the flight logs of Jeffrey Epstein's pilots from all of the planes and the helicopters. Now... Remember, we only have a portion of the flight logs, right? We don't have anything from Larry Vysosky. All we have so far are the flight logs from David Rogers. So, this subpoena is going all the way back to the 90s to get flight logs from the 90s all the way up until Jeffrey Epstein's alleged suicide. Now... I am not a fan of Denise George. Everybody who listens to this podcast knows that. I think that it's it's real shifty the way that she's positioning the Virgin Islands as a victim in this case, as an entity that deserves reparations for what Jeffrey Epstein did while in their territory. My counter to that is, well, your colleagues, former or current, were the ones who gave him them sweetheart deals. They were the ones that hooked him up with those tax havens and breaks. So why do you think that you should eat at the trough twice? Your people already wet their beak, right? Your colleagues already wet their beak one time around. So now you're coming around for seconds. What are you going to wear a a mask and a a bit of a uh, costume so you can get some seconds here? It's, it's, It's just, it's unseemly. Now, the Virgin Islands should not get one single dollar out of any of this. But if Denise George wants to continue with her investigation and she wants to continue to let it mature and bloom and keep subpoena, keep using this, uh, the power of subpoena to get these people to speak, then I'm all for that. Because let me tell you what, there has to be some real uncomfortable people who were on those flights, who have denied being on those flights, that quite possibly are on the logs that were kept by Vysosky. Now, I don't know for sure if that's the case, right? But you would think that if we have seen what we have seen with the the limited amount of flight logs that we have available to us, that what is contained in the flight logs we have not seen yet could really corroborate a lot of things moving forward about people who were on those planes and who they were with when they were on those flights. And that has to have a lot of these people terrified, especially the ones that have been playing the marathon game, right? The ones that are playing the distance game, the kings of social distancing. The people caught up in Jeffrey Epstein's fallout, these people have have social distancing down to a T, folks. All right, but they're distancing themselves from the truth and it's going to boomerang around and slap them right in the back of the head because these documents are going to come out. Now, remember also the 22nd, which is Tuesday, we have the appeals court. So we have that coming as well. 
So there's a lot, still a lot coming down the pipe this week and in the future. And anybody who was on this flight log, especially the people who have lied and said they were never on the flights or they couldn't have been there at that time, those people definitely are not going to sleep well knowing that this information is been, it has been subpoenaed and that it is going to be in the hands of the authorities. So let's see what the Mira has to say about these flight logs and them getting subpoenaed by Denise George in the Virgin Islands. This article is from the Mira. The author is Christopher Buckton. Headline? All passengers on Epstein's flight logs to be named, sparking panic among rich pals. Yikes. Now that's a pretty ominous headline, right? And if that really happens and they go through with this and these logs are subpoenaed and we find out some uh, some new tidbits perhaps that we didn't know that corroborate things that we might think but can't prove fully – I'll tell you what, it's going to take the the investigation in a whole new direction and open up a whole bunch of doors. Because I know there are people out there that are chomping at the bit to put these pieces together. People that are way better at putting pieces together than I am even. There are a lot of people that can't wait to play that game, right? A ton of great investigative journalists working on this case. And once all of this stuff gets out and everybody gets to dig in... I am sure that there are going to be some connections made with people on those flight logs and people who were at Epstein's Island or were accompanied by girls who were who were trafficked by Epstein and Maxwell. Logs for every flight made by Jeffrey Epstein's aircraft over 21 years have been subpoenaed, sparking panic among among his rich and famous pals. Hell yeah. These people are freaking out. No doubt in my mind that these people are freaking out. They understand that the rug is being pulled out from underneath them. They understand that they can no longer rely on their lapdogs in the legacy media to gaslight the people. And not because the legacy media has turned a new leaf. Not that the legacy media cares now. It's that you folks have woke up. All of us have taken a look at what's going on and we realize we're being bullshitted every single time we turn on the TV. Every single time we tune into one of these networks, we know that they're lying to us either directly or they're lying by omission of truth. These people are professionals at it and they did it for Jeffrey Epstein for decades. They lied about the girls. I mean, the New York Post even got sued back in the day over it. So these people have been cover, I mean, laying down cover fire for Jeffrey Epstein for decades. But now they can't do that anymore, right? Because the people see through their bull, their, their BS and the people understand that there are independent content creators and journalists and other forms of media now where the truth actually still matters. The Attorney General for the U.S. Virgin Islands, where Epstein had a home, has demanded logs for his four helicopters and three planes from 1998 to his suicide last year. So, that's going to be a lot of information, right? I wonder how many flights were uh, taken in that period of time with these planes. I'm sure there's a way to track that down and find out how many times they uh, took off and how many times they landed, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm guessing that's going to be a, uh, a, lot of, a lot of paperwork and a lot of logs to go through for these investigators. I'm curious to see what happens after they have them, right? Are we going to see more subpoenas? Maybe. It all depends on how serious Denise George is with this investigation, right? Is she posturing here simply because she wants to get her fingers dipped into that pie and spread a little bit of that money around? We know that a lot of states and territories and local municipalities are up against it financially, and Denise George certainly sees this as a windfall, so... She could, you know, that's, that, that could definitely be motivating her for trying to get money out of this. But if we see more subpoenas after this one 
of people, right? Specific people. You would have to wonder if it's from these logs or if these logs led to those other subpoenas being issued. So it's a whole game of being a detective at this point, following what's happening, right? Just put trying to put the pieces together and read between the lines. Denise George has filed a lawsuit against Epstein's estate, alleging 22 counts, including aggravated rape, child abuse, and neglect, human trafficking, forced labor, and prostitution. Now, remember, this is a RICO case that they have going here, but the civil version of one. Now, again, these civil cases can very easily become criminal cases if the evidence presents itself in that direction. And if Denise George and her team which I'm not too familiar with. I don't even know any of the other lawyers in the office, to be honest with you. But if they're really serious about pursuing justice here, if they're really serious about digging in to what Epstein and in turn Maxwell was about, then this is a surefire way to get there, at the very least, to get on the trail. When you start firing off all of these subpoenas and you make all of these people speak under oath, it starts making these rich scumbags real squirrely. As well as the passenger lists, Miss George is seeking any complaints or reports of potentially suspicious conduct and any personal notes the pilots made. So I don't know how successful she'll be with like personal notes or anything. Um, I'm sure that the, a lot of these pilots will be uh, like Visosky. We know how close he is with Epstein. We know that he owns 40 acres on uh, Zorro Ranch. And we also know that his daughter got married at Zorro Ranch on those 40 acres. So if Vysotsky has any uh, uh, personal notes, has he kept them? Did he destroy them? I don't know one way or the other, but you would think somebody that close to Epstein, somebody that close to the action, and somebody who might have some liability would go about cleaning up whatever sort of loose ends they possibly could. But if he has notes... And perhaps those notes were turned into wherever they turned them in. I don't know, the FAA or something. Maybe she's trying to get those from there. Who knows? We'll see how it turns out. The subpoena demands the names and contact details of anyone who worked for the pilots or who interacted with or observed Jeffrey Epstein or any passengers associated with him. So I wonder if that's going to go for the people who work at the airport as well, because we know the ground crews, we know people at the airports have all come out and said, hell yeah, we saw these guys, we saw Jeffrey Epstein, we saw uh, Prince Andrew, we saw these famous people getting off of the planes. So I wonder if she's going to talk to them as well under oath. Pilot David Rogers provided logs in 2009 showing Prince Andrew, Bill Clinton, Kevin Spacey, and Naomi Campbell were among those who flew on Epstein's Lolita Express jet. And again, it's going to be interesting to get some more context, right? Some more meat on the bone, try and see who was on these planes and when, and let's try and corroborate some stories, right? Let's put... Two and two together, and let's see if we come up with four. It's not suggested that they were aware of Epstein's wrongdoing. Yeah, okay, whatever. I mean, with Bill Clinton, Kevin Spacey, and Naomi Campbell, I'm, I'm willing to say that, right? We, haven't, we don't have any evidence pointing us otherwise in this specific case. But Prince Andrew, let's not act like there's nothing uh, suggesting that uh, that he uh, didn't know anything about wrongdoing. Old boy was engaging in wrongdoing, according to Virginia. Old boy was busy abusing a trafficked girl who was underage, according to Virginia. So I don't know what that even means about they weren't aware of Epstein's wrongdoing. Lawyers for the survivors say the 2009 logs did not include flights made by chief pilot Larry Vasosky, who flew for Epstein for more than 25 years. And this is where the rubber's going to hit uh, where the rubber's going to meet the road, folks. Larry Vasosky is a key here. He's a very crucial part of what's going on. I did a deep dive into Larry Vasosky a while back. You can find that in the catalog. And we went into his relationship with Epstein and the mansion and the daughter and all of that jazz. And still, 
Larry Visosky's name is coming up as a crucial part of this case. This is a guy who needs to be had needs to be brought in, and they need to speak with him under oath. And he most certainly needs to provide these logs. Zero doubt that he needs to provide those logs, and I'm sure can corroborate even more of the story. A legal source said the records that have been subpoenaed will make the ones Rogers provided look like a post-it note. There is panic among many of the rich and the famous. And also, we have seen the survivors talk about how only a small portion of these logs have been provided. Virginia has said that. We've heard it from others. And we see it here. We know that Rogers only provided a, a small portion of these logs. And we know that Vasoski is playing a huge role as far as ferreting these people around from island to island, as far as being Epstein's chief pilot. It's no different than someone like Adam Perry Lang, who is the personal chef, or uh, Indyke, who is the personal lawyer. These people have intimate knowledge of Jeffrey Epstein. These people know Jeffrey Epstein very well. Do you really think Jeffrey Epstein, Mr. Privacy himself, would cut Larry Vasosky off a 40-acre parcel at his hideaway in the middle of the desert if Larry Vasosky was not a trusted confidant? I'll let you stew on that for a, for a few. Prince Andrew's friend, Ghislaine Maxwell, 58, who was in jail awaiting trial on grooming and sex abuse charges, often piloted helicopters to Epstein's private island. She sure did. Did she have any logs? And not only did she uh, uh, pilot the helicopters to the island, it was also from the airport in Santa Fe and Albuquerque down to the Zorro Ranch as well, according to sources. Also remember, Dershowitz, the Mr. I kept my underpants on, man of such high ranking at Harvard University, scoffed at the idea that Ghislaine Maxwell was flying the helicopters and bringing people back and forth. Just another little bit of the story that Mr. Dershowitz, the Martha Vineyard naked volleyball extraordinaire, can't keep straight. And we're going to see more and more of that, folks, as this stuff keeps coming out, as more information starts to leak, as more information is brought forward by people who were in the know and who have avoided coming forward for all of these years because it was the comfortable thing to do. Well, you're going to see it's not going to be so comfortable anymore. Just take a look at Adam Perry Lang. The writing is on the wall for the rest of these people that enabled Jeffrey Epstein or who witnessed what Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell were up to. And the writing says that you will either speak to the authorities of your own free will or you will be subpoenaed and compelled to do so. If you'd like to contact me, you can do that at bobbycapucci at protonmail.com. That's B-O-B-B-Y-C-A-P-U-C-C-I at protonmail.com. You can also find me on Twitter at B-O-B-B-Y underscore C-A-P-U-C-C-I. All of the links that go with this episode can be found in the description box. All right, folks, I'll be back tomorrow. Hope everybody had a fantastic weekend. Rogue Nicotine On Demand. Delivered direct to your door. Available in all your favorite flavors and formats. Pouches, gum, wintergreen, peppermint, and more. From fishing to Sunday football to dinner at the in-laws. Rogue Nicotine is there for you when you need it. Visit roguenicotine.com today and save 10% when you place your order for sugar-free, fast-acting Rogue Nicotine. Underage cells prohibited. This product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. For more information, visit roguenicotine.com. Rogue Nicotine On Demand. Delivered direct to your door. Available in all your favorite flavors and formats. Pouches, gum, wintergreen, peppermint, and more. From fishing to Sunday football to dinner at the in-laws. Rogue Nicotine is there for you when you need it. Visit roguenicotine.com today and save 10% when you place your order for sugar-free, fast-acting Rogue Nicotine. Underage cells prohibited. This product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. For more information, visit roguenicotine.com.